Hey, Dr. Tyler Williams with Better Sleep SLC. And you're here because you have some questions on a dental sleep device and if it's covered by medical insurance, or maybe you're wondering if it's covered by dental insurance or if it's even covered by insurance at all, how that works with a CPAP versus surgery versus your doctor. And those are all great questions. So we'll get to those in a moment, but start out, just wanted to give some background on some things you should be aware of when you're making your decision. So generally there are three options for treating snoring or sleep apnea. Those would be a CPAP, a surgery, or the oral device. And there's pros and cons to all of them. So there's no one right option for any one person. And some people benefit from a combination of treatments as well. And in your case, maybe your friend or spouse has one option and another may work better for you. We have patients that are doing mostly the uh, oral devices. It's kind of our niche, but we have patients who are doing an oral device with sleep, uh, CPAP. We have patients who are doing an oral device with a uh, surgical procedure or an Inspire implant. And as I mentioned, most of our patients are doing the oral appliance as a standalone device. Now, as far as the coverage, uh, sleep apnea is a medical treatment. So this goes under your medical insurance or your Medicare or your TRICARE, or your flex spending account, or some combination of those. So you want to meet with a dentist who's trained in both sleep apnea and in dentistry. So, for example, when I went through dental school in my training, I learned how to make a whole bunch of different types of mouth guards. But in that four years, there just wasn't enough time to go deep into sleep medicine and dental sleep medicine and working with different types of specialists and surgeons to make sure that you're well taken care of. And so make sure that you're asking these questions. And if you haven't already, there's another video we have that you can watch on our channel. It's called Four Rip-Offs to Watch Out For When You Get an Oral Sleep Appliance. And it's important you watch those so that you don't go to just anybody who can make an oral appliance or you don't just order something off TV and then get frustrated when it doesn't work or you don't get the benefits. Um, and especially if you want to use your medical benefits, you need to work with an office that has experience in billing medical insurance, not dental. So in your case, if you have some questions on this, you can call or text us. Our contact information is below. Be happy to go over those with you. And we have a booklet that goes through all of these options along with some things that you can do at home. One example of this is your blood pressure and your sleep quality and your uh, pulse and your oxygen when you're asleep. So if you have some type of uh, smartwatch or smart device that you sleep with, there are some numbers you can look for. And if your uh, blood, your oxygen saturation in your blood if it's dropping at night, that's an alarm. Your pulse, if it's going higher than about 80 during your sleep, that's an alarm. Because if your pulse is going above 80, it means your heart is working too hard because you're not breathing well enough. And that can cause heart disease and a whole bunch of other issues if it's not treated in a timely manner. Uh, another one is your oxygen saturation or sometimes called SpO2, it talks about what percentage of your blood has oxygen in it when you're asleep. And if that goes below 90, that's also a red flag. So those are two numbers you can track and check this week and see how they're looking. If you've had a formal home sleep test from an office like ours or a physician, then those will incorporate those numbers as well into your uh, treatment and your diagnosis. And most importantly, you know, work with a sleep team that's experienced and familiar with sleep apnea so you're getting the right options and the right treatment. So thanks for taking a minute to watch this video and we will catch you on the next one. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.